What is up, everybody? Today we got some big news, and I'm gonna finish talking about some of my favorite projects I'm working on this year. You good? You good? <laughs> okay, so getting back to my top four. Several weeks ago, I talked about how I have these top four projects that I'm working on. And I think I said number four was the video game that I'm working on with my buddy Mitch. And number three is a board game that I'm working on with several different friends we've been working on for for over four years and we're hoping to launch a Kickstarter for it later this year. Right now the biggest the biggest obstacles with that is we need to just do play testing through the freaking roof. Excuse me. If you would like to play test, please let me know. Especially if you're in the Nebraska, Lincoln, Omaha area. Because I need to get as many people together to just test that game out as possible. To just find all the kinks, any kind of holes in the game. Make sure that it's fun, that it moves quickly, that it's easily easy to learn. And then we got to finalize the rule book, which I'm working on with a buddy of mine who's an actual trainer who trains. It's a trainer who trains. Uh, and he's, he's helping me put together... Uh, the language for the rule book. Actually, the board game kind of feeds into my number two, which is a web comic series that I'm working on with my buddy Adam Kovar. It is probably out of my top four, the one that I am most stoked about right now. I'm doing all the writing and, and Adam is doing all of the illustration and art and coloring, but comic books in general have always been something that's intrigued me. They're incredibly unique in the fact that both time and space meet in this kind of unique place in comic books. We know every story beat, I know what's gonna happen from start to finish, but I just have to flesh it out and I have to flesh out the characters. I have to make them believable, relatable, and, and engaging. So hopefully I can do that and uh, we'll, we will see as we go. And I'm super excited to get to explore that art form more. But here's the really cool thing, okay? The characters in the comic book are gonna be who become the players in the board game. So you get to watch their story and follow each of them. And then where their story ends in the web comic, you can pick it up for yourself in the board game. I think it's gonna be an incredibly fun project. I'm insanely excited, can't wait, absolutely can't wait to announce that when that's out. Number one, number one of my top four personal content projects that I'm working on is the podcast. It's something that I've been a part of for almost three years. If you like fantasy storytelling, if you like Dungeons and Dragons, then you will adore this podcast. It is full of wonderful characters. Some of, some of my favorite personal memories over the past three years are encapsulated in this podcast, and there's over 140 episodes. It has probably one of the most incredible and, and welcoming and kind communities that's been built up around it. We, we have a Patreon that we're getting support from our fans through, which is insane. And that's honestly probably the biggest reason why it's number one on my list. I spend quite a bit of time working with the Patreon, editing the podcast, and just being part of that community and engaging with them is a big priority to me. I have two, two last announcements to make before we end this puppy. One, today's my birthday. I don't wanna make a big deal about it. It's my birthday, it happens every year. The reason I bring it up is because I set a personal goal for myself to write the first draft of my first novel by the time I'm 30, and I just turned 29. I finally know what story I'm going to tell. I started writing multiple different books uh, over the past year, but none of them were something that I was incredibly passionate about, and I didn't really know where the stories were going, how they were gonna end. I just had creative ideas that I started to flesh out, which ultimately lead to nothing. And lastly, the last thing I want to touch base with you guys is next week, I'm going to actually be out of town. I will be in Phoenix, Arizona. I have a video shoot with a buddy named Alan, who is a professional miniature painter, linked to his stuff below. He's got some awesome miniatures that he's going to paint, and I'm going to make some uh, videos of the painting process and everything he's doing. Super excited to do that. Super excited to hang out with him and film some of that. It's going to be really, really fun. So anyway... 
A lot of stuff going on. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Josh. This is a vlog. That's a dog. The frog jumped on a log.